Okay. Um, let's go back to the AMA. Do you see uh, ETH BTC pair surpassing its all time high? Um, Bill, what do you think about ETH versus Bitcoin? Okay. Well, you know, in some ways they're asking the right guys, in some ways they're asking the wrong guys. <laughs> Because, yes, we, we do believe ETH BTC can go back to where it was in the heyday of ETH, you know, in mid-2017. So let me bring up the screen. Okay. Now, ETH BTC is got either a head and shoulders bottom or a teacup and handle. The last three weeks, you know, you've seen a lot of green action in Ethereum on the upside. And as we indicated earlier, ETH may be taking a break. I call it the pause that refreshes. Okay. So assuming the crypto market doesn't get wrecked and there's no big problem. Okay. ETH is building up steam to, to literally just eventually rocket to the upside. So everyone is really into these like gigantic hyperbole targets for Bitcoin, like 100,000, 250,000. You know what? I, I don't doubt it, but what I don't understand is why a hyperbole target like 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 for ETH isn't a subject of discussion. People don't talk about it. Because we've seen this teacup and handle or this head and shoulders bottom all over crypto for a year. And, and what inevitably winds up happening is you get a really explosive move, right? A really explosive move. As a matter of fact, if I just tweak that Fibonacci resistance line, it actually does make sense right here that ETH versus Bitcoin has taken a bit of a break. There's resistance here. But as with the last year, if it's just a pause that refreshes, frequently it, it pays to get long ETH with ET, ETH BTC just below resistance. I don't know if that's today, this week, or next week, because again, this is a two-week chart actually. Just that. Okay. The point is this ETH on a dip or a flush is a buy. It's a buy outright. It's a buy versus Bitcoin. ETH is going to 2,000, 5,000, or 10,000, wherever it has to be to just really surpass Bitcoin in terms of like the percentage gains that it has. There's just more upside, I think, in ETH long term. That's not just a view, that's charts. That's just charts alone. That doesn't even mention the fact that, you know, this practically is ETH Maximalist TV. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com. Disclaimer. Token Metrics Media LLC does not provide individually tailored investment advice and does not take a subscriber's or anyone's personal circumstance into consideration when discussing investments, nor is it registered as an investment advisor or broker-dealer in any jurisdiction. Information contained herein is not an offer or solicitation to buy, hold, or sell any security. The Token Metrics team has advised and invested in many blockchain companies. A complete list of their advisory roles and current holdings can be viewed here at tokenmetrics.com slash disclosures.